welcome back guys weather is a little bit shocking uh which has meant there's not that many stalls but we'll see what we can find Impressive if we find anything, no, very impressive. 30 pounds, yeah? 31, 32. Oh, you only want in tips, yeah? You're <laughs> Thank you. Which two, Lee? What do you think now? For two players, only two good. Uh, they're all fine, apart from the season. Mm -hmm. I bought them one, you do eight pounds on the pair. Yeah. I bought them one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, no, it's right, I've got another box here as well, but I think you might have been through that one. Hey? I've got one box there and one box there. I've been through any. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, one. come around the side. Do you want to come around the side? Oh, do you want to do that? No, I can't, honestly, I can't have what I'm looking for. I'm not far right in. Four quid each. Four quid each. Shout out to one with the. Uh... Are these with the kids? Yeah. That's the there should be one more Star Wars thing somewhere. How much? much? How much are these? Just a, uh, a pound that's 50p. Okay, take so these. Yeah. They've got a piece of paper or something. Give it your phone if you want. Oh, they've got them. What's that for? I'll give you that. Okay. Pound, do I need the kids? Oh, sorry, the kids. How much are you? Four pound each. Straight across. Yeah. I've got seven. No, three, four, five. I think there must be something in it. No, I'm just saying. She, she got it in a box or something. So. I sell her loads from on eBay. Debbie. How much are your turtle bits? Uh, three pounds per bag. I might take this. I was just storing these boxes. That's just storage boxes. Yeah. Yeah, they're my doubles, yeah. I'm just going to look around here again. Then, uh, what's gone? Uh, it's good enough. Just saying, Tim, what's going on? I lose out the bottom in the box. In the box there. Don't listen. That's just excess in the back. Oh, is it? Yeah. Does it go with those or? Yeah, they're they're all they're all turtle stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Those as well then. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Let's see what else Oh. I'll grab these then. Oh, okay, cheers. Very, very, and then I'll give you. Do you want a bag? No, it's alright, I'll throw them in the bath. Cheers, there you go. Cheers, mate, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank How much are your DVD DVD games? Time. Time. Okay. Time. I've got that. Everything's uh, Cheers, thank you. Much appreciated.
You say, yeah, I'll just take a look. Yeah, and people just start picking on, aren't they? Yeah, 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 I just brought those uh, little toy bits and some games. Pops, yeah, sometimes. Is it all right if I look at the top ones? Yeah, just the layout. I just, yeah, I'm very particular in what ones I buy. No, I was going to say, because uh, she's got an eBay. These are just the. Oh, are they? She's got, she's got fucking hundreds on eBay, so. Yeah, I'm always on there just looking, because it's just certain cats, because they bought stuff out for everything, haven't they, the Pops? Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like I said, the, the, the popular. Yeah. So, have you seen that one, have you? Yeah, I'll, t I'll take a look. I'll just, I'll just take a look. Huh? Yeah, I think you see that. Hundreds on, on the, the big ones, the small ones, all sorts, uh, the, the shoulders, you know, she's got it. So you get a lot from Australia as well, which you can't get from the UK. Oh, okay. Yeah, some nice ones. Which one? Oh, thank you, guys. Take care. All the best. Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So pickups from the boot sale this morning it was a very disappointing day to be fair guys uh it's just it's just the british weather 100 percent like the british weather you would have seen if, if you've you know been watching the news in the uk or you're not from the uk we've had severe rain severe flooding oh there's been so much going on uh but a lot a hell of a lot of the boot sales were cancelled sunday uh, luckily they put this boot sale on that i went to and it's supposed to be one of the biggest uh, boot sales in kent However, it was a washout. There was about there's about 15 stalls there, uh, a lot of market sellers, and then some of the stalls you're going to, especially some of the house clearance, really hiking up those prices, which they can do because there's not that many stalls there, but there's a hell of a lot of buyers. Uh, so I was walking around, saw one stall to be fair, and it kind of it's kind of where I got everything from. Uh, hence the short video, but kind of more pop culture related bits and pieces. I picked up a few uh, pieces off them and I also had two tubs of Funko Pops. Now, looking back here, I think they wanted £4 a Funko Pop. I should have brought one. There was one that I wanted in there and I was supposed to go back, but for some reason it slipped in my mind, mostly because of how dire it was at the time. But it had the Green Ranger Tommy and I was supposed to go back and get it. 
uh, never did. But hey ho, it's happened, it's done. But what did I pick up? So, firstly, I picked up one of these extreme dinosaurs. Now, I believe this guy is missing a weapon. Uh, simple reason I say that, something is broken off of there in my, that's my point of view. I'm more than certain it is because no one, not even an extreme dinosaur has a hand like that. Uh, but cool figure, for 50p I picked it up. Uh, but in the end, I kind of bundled everything. And got, I think I got more of a better deal anyway. But yeah, it's a cool cool looking figure. Don't really see these that often. Similar to the Street Sharks, I picked that up. Got a few of the extreme dinosaurs now, so let's just go with that. Uh, I don't know what it is with me at the moment. Every boot sale I seem to be going to, and I know they sell these in HMV as well, tend not to see a lot of the older ones but it's like the world's smallest horror and i've done this i've done this skit about three four times now but i've got like the world's smallest horror figure the world's smallest wherever he is where's the action man no the action man is hiding somewhere around all the goodness in there it's over there on the fruit machine uh the world's smallest human power rangers and then i've got the world's smallest top trumps so i thought oh, i'll pick that up again that was 50p so pick that up and then the same person they had a box full of games playstation 2 playstation 3 was it 50 was it 50p a game or a pound a game i can't remember uh but went through there wasn't that many there but i got ss tricky the platinum edition so pick that up and then picked up this was strange because i watched this on another youtuber's video over the weekend uh a gaming youtuber and they picked up a couple of ps2 titles and he picked up Top Trump's Adventures Volume 1, which is, is it the Predators and the Horror? And I thought, oh my God, I've never ever seen Top Trump's on the PlayStation 2. Lo and behold, behold I went there Sunday and he's sitting there in a box. So I picked that up. Uh, yeah, really wanted this game as well because I just don't have it in my collection. And then you would have seen on the same store, I think I went back for these. They, the only bag of figures they had. And given that this Extreme Dinosaur was in a, like a tub and it was one of the last things left, I'm guessing someone cleared the figures before I got there. And I got there, I, think I got it at half five. Uh, so still early. But I picked up these ones, which were three pound for the bag. And I think it's a pound for these. But in the end, the whole lot was five pound. And I think that might be right, to be fair. One, two. No, so it's, it's just over five pound anyway. But pick these up. Figure-wise, I didn't really know what was in there. I'm assuming that's for one of the turtles, because this is a turtle bag. Doesn't really say, but I guess that's one of the... To me, it looks like Rocky, doesn't it? But I know it's not. It's for the turtles. That's a cool little accessory, actually. If it stands up. Uh, so you've got like a... I was about to say a weird-looking Raph. Because uh, he's got a scarf on, so... Raphael. And these are from the these are from the newer movies, the Michael Bay ones. Uh, but I saw some other weird-looking turtles in there, and I thought, well, I'm just going to pick them up. Absolutely no idea what this Michelangelo does here, but it looks like it's got something on there where it flips back. Uh, but he was in there. It's just like a little bag of turtles. Again, Michelangelo from the... Uh, oh. Right, that's not going to take someone's eye out, is it? Jeez. There you go. He stopped. I don't know why he stopped. Because I've broken his arm. Uh, but yeah. Damn. That's pretty impressive. So I've got that one. Another Raphael. He looks like a little bit more detailed, to be fair. Guess it's from the same thing, because the same is it not Nickelodeon that owns all the rights? Uh, but yeah, another Raphael there. And then the one that I picked up, because I have seen this one before. Uh, and I think ah oh, his little belt thing's broke. But yeah, these are the bigger turtle figures. I just like these because these remind me more of the classic cartoon from when I was growing up. So I got Donatello there in the pack and then there's a strange little hat which I believe must go with I'm assuming this as well I don't know it goes with Raph maybe uh, so I've got that they will go back in there so I'm not going to lose that and then all this little bag of necessities uh, I thought I'd just pick them up anyway I'm assuming again that they're all turtles uh, just look and see if Donatello's Donatello's stick was in there don't know if this is it. I don't think it is. Looks like a lolly stick, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, so they're all, they're all there. But again, I I reckon some. I reckon in that tub with some of the turtles because you've got the big Leonardo sword there, the nunchucks. I reckon people have picked up all the toys and left all the weapons. Uh, so yeah, so I picked those up. And then the only last one 
I did pick up from another store. I was going around, there wasn't much there really. Was there was a tub of like Blu-rays. Uh, looked inside and they had Simpsons on PSP. Now I'm always picking up PSP games. I believe they wanted one pound for this and I thought, yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up. Uh, but yeah, all in there. So I picked up the Simpsons game as well. So that will go into the PSP collection. But in terms of boot sale, that was it. I will be going to the boot sale this week on a Wednesday. So first time for a long time, first time for a long time that I've been to the Wednesday boot sale because uh, there just hasn't been much there. But as we move into the uh, six weeks holiday for children, uh, parents take holidays as well, especially the first couple of weeks. Or you, you know, you're looking for things to do with the children or you, a lot of parents have a good clear out. So the boot sales tend to get more busier over the six weeks holidays. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to go along this Wednesday and just see what this Wednesday is showing. One, because of the holidays. Two, because there was no Sunday boot sales at this boot sale will be going on on a Wednesday. That's a mouthful. Uh, so I'm hoping to find some good bits and pieces. But no doubt, like with anything, there will be competition and there will be a lot more people there. I definitely believe that, uh, especially from the reseller community, because... It wasn't a big turnout this Sunday for boot sales. Uh, but that being said, I think I've got some all right pieces. Uh, happy with what I've got. Tend to seem to be having a little bit of a collection with these world's smallest bits and pieces. So just strange that they're coming up. Uh, but yes, on that note, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Definitely check out some of the other videos I've got going on during this week. And I'm going to try and put them all together literally now and put them out during the week. So I've got a, have I got a pickup video? I have got a pickup video, uh, hence the Mighty Duck a uh, little bit of a sneak preview hence the mighty duck jersey which is sitting here so i did pick up two of these uh i believe they so adidas uh really good material and i believe they're from the disney plus tv show so promotional items but mighty ducks guys come how that is that's retro if ever i could get something retro clothing related that are mostly just hang it's gonna be mighty ducks uh so i picked up two mighty ducks jerseys one has gone to Theo at Slimehouse TV so Theo's a huge Mighty Duck fan I know that I've known that since I've known him and he's done a lot of he does a lot of interview with celebrities uh etc and one of them was one of the guys who's in uh the new Mighty Duck uh Disney Plus series from the movie so he's made that change over from the movies ending obviously into the Disney Plus series so he's done a good interview of him you could tell how passionate Theo was about Mighty Duck so I sent him one of them uh, to have and then I've got the other one here that I will put on display no doubt uh, but that being said so with that you know that's just one of the decent things you need to check out that pickup video because there's toys I believe there's games there's books I feel like I want to get it now and show everyone but no I'll do that video separate uh, and then there is another one so I went to a 20p yep 20p comic book sale uh, and these are brilliant I love going to these in my local comic shop one of the only few decent comic shops left in the UK, I'd say. There's not a great deal. And people go, no, there's comic shops everywhere, Scott. I want about shops that only specifically deal with comics. Uh, there's not that many of them. And I mean in terms of Silver Age, Bronze Age, Gold Age, CGC, Pressing, uh, you know, everything. These guys, one of, the be one of the best comic shops, I believe, in the UK anyway. Uh, so every year or every two years sometimes, they do like a 20p comic book sale and this is where they're just clearing out everything that they've got where they just haven't got room for it on the shop they can't bring it to marts or it's sit it's been sitting in storage for a long time uh so i went along to that and i got some really decent comics and people will be thinking oh no you're not going to get anything decent at 20p let me tell you they they do put a lot of silver age comics in there i did see some people pick up some of these silver age like batman and detective comics and i was like no uh, but I got some okay gems as well. Uh, the decent ones to go through the magazines because they don't really specialise in magazines. But you can imagine being a comic shop, they get a hell of a lot of magazines sent into them. Uh, and I was seeing people pick up. So last time I went to the last one, you had people pick up like the uh, Creep Show graphic novel, the first print as well from the 80s, and it was 50p. So magazines are 50p, comics are 20p. I just get that clear. Uh, and then this time, I missed it. I missed it. And I saw it's Toby, I believe. So he's part of a uh, London's Love Comics. London Loves Comics is a Facebook group that I'm part of. Uh, and it's all people around the London area that are into comics, kind of get together in that forum, just have a chat. Uh, but yeah, Toby from that group was going through the magazines and he pulled up the Dungeons and Dragons, like the guides. The guides were in the magazines for 50p. Uh, and he just casually picking up. Yeah, I'll take those, take those. I was like, oh my God, someone was picking up 
Kevin Eastman, some of the Turtle, the early Turtle graphic novels though, 50p, and I was like, oh, I've missed out. But I've got some okay magazines that I thought I'm gonna take a chance on anyway. Uh, but yes, that will be an upcoming video as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to stop going on now because I give too much away. I always do that. I get too excited and I give everything away and I want to save this kind of energy for the videos. Uh, but on that note, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, take care. S still stay safe. I'm always going to say stay safe and see you again shortly.